everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A team of neuroscientists from New York University has identified a protein linked to conditions related to Alzheimer's disease. It's long been known that protein synthesis was necessary to the formation of long-term memories. This NYU study identifies a clear link between a modification to a particular protein that interrupts protein synthesis and Alzheimer's modeled symptoms in mice. The NYU team studied the protein designated EIF2-alpha and found it had been modified with a phosphate group in unusually high levels in both Alzheimer's modeled mice and humans diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. The researchers who conducted this study are hopeful now that a link between Alzheimer's-like conditions and EIF2-alpha has been established that a therapy can be developed. Up next, astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope have identified the source, or should I say, the sources, of the Magellanic Stream. The Magellanic Stream is a ribbon of gas that runs along the edge of our galaxy. It wraps about halfway around our galaxy, in fact, and until now, we weren't entirely sure what it was or where it came from. Astronomers analyzed the elements contained in the stream using Hubble's spectrograph and determined it consisted of two regions of gas, one stripped out of the small Magellanic Cloud about two billion years ago, and another stripped from the large Magellanic Cloud more recently. The large and small Magellanic Clouds are smaller satellite galaxies gravitationally linked to our own Milky Way. If the Andromeda Galaxy is the next house over, the Magellanic Clouds are the RVs parked in our driveway. Finally, more cool astronomy news, a new analysis of the cosmic microwave background radiation by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory has revealed new clues to what the universe was like the first few hundred thousand years following the Big Bang. Studying the latest data collected from the CMB, the Berkeley lab identified a small amount of radiation that couldn't be attributed either to photons or to conventional dark matter. Researchers suspect this extra radiation is the result of so-called wild neutrinos, neutrinos that may have behaved differently than those described in the standard model. The radiation could also be due to early dark energy, which may have been much more abundant in the epoch immediately following the Big Bang than it is today. Scientists identify a protein linked with Alzheimer's disease, and astronomers discover the origin of the great gas ribbon that decorates our galaxy and probe deeper than ever before into the secrets of the early universe. That's the good news. Right. Yeah. Yeah.